Hello again. Welcome to DuckTales, where we go behind the scenes at DuckDuckGo and talk about things going on inside the company and features we're building, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we're going to talk AI again. Today I have Nerzar with me. Uh, Nerzar, you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Nerzar. I'm a designer uh, for Duck AI. I kind of lead the product. And yeah, we've been working. You're more than a designer. You're more than a designer <laughs> at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it's actually been super nice to have like design led product here. Uh, and yeah, I've been kind of working on Duck AI for last two years. I actually, we started uh, like doing the MVP together, Gabe, you and I, we were kind of playing around with a small, uh, small app and then yes, it kind indeed. of turned into a big product. So Duck AI is our chat equivalent uh, ai chat equivalent um it's private chat uh you can access popular models um from within it um what what are the model providers we have now uh right now we are offering uh gpt4 mini which is our default uh we also started offering gpt5 mini uh, which is the newest model from OpenAI. uh actually a lot of people are like using it a lot more than we expected. Uh, but we also like f uh, focusing on like open source models, obviously. So the OpenAI's open source model, uh, Llama and Mistral as well, and Cloud Anthropic. So yeah, it kind of fits into our idea about uh, just giving a lot of choice Model to choice, the users. all the major yeah. providers. Yeah. Okay, so um, my quick spiel on our AI approach that I gave last time, but for anyone mm -hmm. new, um, Approach to AI, private, useful, optional, private. Um, in this case, you know, it applies to all our AI features, but in this case, you know, we anonymize chats. Um, yep. We don't trade on data. We have a bunch of other privacy features in there. You want to hit on yeah. a couple? Uh, yeah, uh, mainly I think the storing the chats on your local device is I think a big one. Uh, yes, if you have recent chats, they're going to be stored yeah. on your local device, not on DuckTech right. servers. Yeah, and uh, I think the like the biggest sort of uh, thing that we've been pursuing is also having like retention of chats and like not having any retention in most cases, uh, which is actually like most industry standard. Uh, and we're also looking into like some private inference stuff, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> Great, mainly anonymous um, and not trading. Useful, we're gonna to get to that in a second because we're gonna talk about customization, which is I think is a super useful feature that we added recently. And then optional, just a couple words on that. Um, all our AI features are optional, including Duck AI. I mean, obviously you can choose not to use it if, if you don't want to use it in general. But when you, in, in our integrations into a search engine and browser, we have uh, settings that will turn it off. Uh, so there's no integration on the search engine if you don't want it. No integration in the browser if you don't want the uh, entry points. Although we do yep. think you should check it out because <laughs> we do think it's useful in private. And um, but we understand people who don't want hey, to do if that. If you're going to use reasons. it somewhere else, it's better to use it here if you care about privacy. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Okay. So back to useful customization. We're here today to talk yep. about feature that we've been working on. You want to introduce it? Maybe share a screen. Uh, yeah, I can go through it. Yeah, no, I, I was just like remembering where it came from when you asked me about to talk about it. And I remember you were kind of annoyed at like use of emoji in responses. Uh, and yes. also like how big hey. the responses are. <laughs> I'm very uh, Gen X and I don't like emojis. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes like it, but I kind of get that. And I think what, what you mentioned was like, if like I don't like it, I'm pretty sure a bunch of people don't like it as well. So we kind of talked yes. about like, hey, like, uh, I think what kind of we concluded was just the idea that like, there is not like a single personality that we can land on that will like kind of suit everyone. Uh, and we always try to give choice to users. Uh, so I think this kind of fits into uh, choice and control, obviously. And this kind of fits into that, um, that category. Uh, let me just give you a demo quickly. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Well, I got, or I was coming from with that too. It was like chatting this whole feature of chatting is very obviously conversational it's like you're talking to somebody you know that yeah. personifying the, the ai in this case i mean 
there are people you like to talk to and there are people you don't like to talk to. There are people <laughs> you like their texts and there are people you don't like their texts. Here you can control that. And that would be the idea is to give users control about like what kind of responses. If you're gonna be chatting with this thing a lot, like what do you want it to sound like, you know? Um, I think that that's kind of the idea for me. And not everybody would choose the same thing. Yeah. It's 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 very personal. I think uh, like this personality thing is very kind of difficult to nail down on. And I think in those cases, it's just like better to sort of give that um, to each user. They can decide uh, what they want. So I'll just show one quick thing. Uh, by the way, I think a lot of this was like it's we are reusing a lot of these tools. So like ChatGPT also has something similar. But I think what what you and like what we wanted to do is just like putting it like front and center. So basically like this is a very small example. Um, I don't think greetings uh, to chatbots are any popular anymore, but I'm not uh, seeing it say, yet. Yeah, are. No, I got a black screen still. No, weird. All right. Let me just try it again. Try to reach here. It worked before. We tested this. Yeah, we tried that. <laughs> try work time. It doesn't work. I'll try mine. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it works, it works now. Go for it. All right. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So we also wanted to like kind of uh, put it front and center. Uh, and this is one example. Of just, I, like, I think that's saying... super important because it's like, it's a front and center thing. Like you're going to, this is a very important thing to change the personality. So it's not hidden behind settings. It's a big design yeah. departure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think uh, 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 like, anybody else had this like this prominent uh, and it kind of like incentivizes to use it as well try it out see how it works if you don't like it that's fine uh so yeah i think the the personality thing that we were talking about was just like like the tonality like use of emojis for example but like as you can see this is like a base model it's like cloud sonnet 4 and if you ask it how is it going it's like it's nice to connect with you uh, how are things on your end this is like not a very good way to like <laughs> these words just like make me a little bit irk uh but yeah like i mean this is like if you just customize it and this is what we came up with to begin with which is like just the idea of like customizing the tone or like how long the responses should be or like naming is also pretty good like if i just ask it to call me my name by the way, all of this is kind of stored on your local device, so it's none of it is kind of goes to DuckDuckGo, obviously. You know, it's to protect your privacy. Yeah, actually, one thing we didn't say is you don't even need an account to use DuckAI. You can just oh, yeah. up a DuckAI and start doing this without Actually, you know you, what? You can use pseudonyms, too. You know, you don't have to use your real name. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Like, when we didn't think about it when we, like, made DuckAI without logins, but, like, when we released it, like, the biggest positive thing was like people were like, oh, I don't have to sign up, which is like a huge deal, apparently. <laughs> but like, I don't think we thought about it that much, but it's really good. I think that that's why it worked really well. Anyway, sorry, coming back to this, I digress. Uh, that's what we would call a strategy credit from being a privacy company, <laughs> since we don't have accounts. We didn't sorry, even we... have an ability to log in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, I meant we thoroughly thought about it and it was a great decision. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to ask it to call me by my new real name. And I'm going to say my my tone, I want it to be like a little bit more playful. As I said, I don't want it to be like, I want to connect with you. Uh, this is pretty simple. Uh, if I apply it, it's going to store it on your thing. And, hey, how's it going? Oh, there is an image. Great. I like it. Uh, anyways, but instantly it's just like such like just a very different response to the same model. And this is what we mean by like, like even a little bit of instructions can like make the most out of it. Uh, it this just made me like want to talk to it. I don't know. Uh, just calling it by and we and like you mainly, name. but you like built in these options, right? Like you, like the ones yeah. that you suggested there, like we like we thought about it, like which ones are the most common. Yeah. So I think we, we worked a lot on these. I really like the ducky one that you wrote, uh, these instructions, which are pretty cool too. Like it can be like, Hey, are you kind of pretends to be a duck, which is fun. And yeah. 
Actually, I use it a lot in like work stuff because it kind of adds. <laughs> it was a more like a throwaway idea, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, just paddling around digital part. It's kind of stupid, but I like it. Uh, but yeah, I think we worked on this. Uh, the thing that we worked on the most was like this AI roles. Um, I think like it was actually kind of fun to write a bunch of these instructions for uh, for AI. I particularly like the uh, the chef one because I cook a lot and I think I used all my cooking knowledge to kind of inform to like all write all the instructions uh, for chef uh, like with the templates and stuff so like if you ask for a recipe it's gonna like give you a very specific template the other thing I really like here is the instructions part and this is kind of like goes to transparency thing uh, we, we show like whatever we tell to what instructions we provide to Dakia, all of this is transparent. You can see exactly what instructions are getting passed onto the model, which is kind of nice. But yeah, I think it seems very simple on the front, but there's a lot of complexity in, like behind it uh, running in the background. Uh, and I think that's that was kind of the goal for design as well, to like make it super simple and, uh, and like doing all this work in the background. Sweet. But All right, yeah. you can stop sharing your screen if you want. Yeah. Let's uh let's drill down to a couple things though there. Like so we were talking about the tone and response, which I think is critical if you're gonna talk to something all day and like it. But then the AI roles that you mentioned briefly, like the chef, that's is kind of a separate thing because now we're saying, Hey, independent of how you want to talk to me, could you act <laughs> like an a teacher or a chef or uh, weightlifting assistant, or, or we have yeah. like 20, 20 of them or something. Yeah. And as I understand it, like, you know, you especially with the team went and, you know, found some good instructions to help the AI become that role. And if you actually yeah. want to do that kind of thing and jump into that role, it's just, a, you get a lot better response. You get a lot more. I mean, we did a lot of testing on like how much it differs and how good it is at following the instructions. Uh, I think one thing that I would say uh, is I think the hardest part was to like make, because we offer so many models, like it's so difficult. Like if you ask the same instruction to Mistral versus to Claude, it's like, Mistral won't do something certain times and Claude will do it. And then you just have to like figure out how to like do the prompt engineering around it. So that was kind of challenging, but I think we got, I don't know, I, we got like pretty good set of instructions that are like very, pre like we're trying to get to like more predictable sort of responses where we can, you know, assume it's going to follow these uh, instructions. Got it. And then you also showed, I think I wanted to highlight is the system prompt. So, yeah, you know, the you it, using an industry term here, but the the user prompt is when you're typing in the system prompt is what we're talking about changing here, which is like the instructions that we're giving to the AI yes. that apply to all the responses. But we're actually showing you what the system prompt looks like in terms of these changes, how it applies. And you could there's another box there. You can you can change you can add your own to yeah on the end of it so like if you to your point if you're switching models and there's something about the model you like or you don't like you that yeah. particular model you could add to it yeah i mean it's already such a black box about like how things are working behind the screen like you want to <laughs> add one more layer of like okay there is something else happening on top of what the model is doing and like i think giving that much at least like transparency is helpful in my opinion um like you just don't know what's happening behind the screens. Agreed. Okay, so what is next? What are we working on next with this, if we can say? Yeah, so I've been kind of noticing how I'm using it. Actually, I haven't talked about this a bit with you uh, before this conversation, but the way I've been using it is like, I think I'm like trying to figure out, like there are kind of two different ways I've been using it. One is sort of this, tone and like things that I kind of generally looking for in any of the conversations I'm doing versus these like tasks. So like I do a lot of like these repeatable things. So like an example is like I'm learning how to code 
better. I'm a designer, but like I'm doing that. And like, I have this like set of instruction that I always kind of append to a blog of code so it can explain what the code is doing to me as a designer. And this is like a repeatable task. So like there are some of these customizations that are like good for particular conversations and some of the instructions are like particular for overall sort of like always on uh, your entire Ducky experience. And I think we got to find out like how we can like make make that distinction better and make the interface better so that we can kind of support both of these, like doing a task like over and over again, every single time versus, um, versus something that kind of like exists in everything. Um, can I share my screen actually? I can share. <laughs> yeah. The, um, the, I, I, I was kind of seeing it semi blurry, so it's like, it's possible Adam's going to make us re record this whole thing again, <laughs> but so you may, we may just want to like, uh, talk about it briefly and then, and then share after, but, uh, instead, but I, I would say that I haven't talked to you about this yet, but I completely agree with everything you said. I, I, in fact, I was coming out from a different angle, which is, uh, actually two different angles. One is I have prompts that I want to use all the time repeatedly yeah. and right now i have to copy and paste them and there really seems like there should be a way to like have that bank save exactly you know yeah, yeah, yeah and then independently the roles like i find myself not using them as much as i actually want to or should because it seems like it's mixing the what i want to be constant as my system prompt for tone and yeah. this one-off task for a role. So it does seem like, I know I, I advocated for combining them into one, <laughs> but, but, but we probably should split them at, at some point, you know, maybe in, in some of this. And why don't we talk after and then we'll, uh, maybe we'll have another yeah. episode about it. Um, yeah, sure, sure. Any good, yeah, because we're at like, I don't know how long we're supposed to go, but I think we're, we, we exceeded the 15 minute mark on this. Um, okay. So, uh, okay. Uh, closing thoughts, Nerzar. Um, what about, Usage response feedback has been positive. Uh, feedback has been good. I mean, you know, a bunch of people already like were asking for it, but like they're like tech savvy people ob obviously like ask for it more. So they're going to be like, hey, can you give me access to the system prompt versus somebody else is like, I don't like emojis. And like you just have to kind of figure out where that balance is. So people who are asking for it, obviously happy about like, I have a box I can type things into. People love those boxes. Uh, and others, I think like, yeah, like I, I just pulled up some numbers. 20% uh, people use tone, which is like the highest usage of any of the customizations. Uh, the next one is the 16% people use um, the role of the chatbot and then everything else is kind of like long tail after that uh, but yeah overall it's been nice uh, like 6 to 7% of like all the Duck AI chats right now happening are using some sort of customization which is like again a bit higher than I expected uh, yeah we, it's we higher than I expected decide. too yeah yeah, we kind of did this like throwaway thing to begin with to kind of see the appetite. And I think a lot of people are using it. So I think it's it's worth sort of like like spending more time on this to make it better. Cool. Okay. So I realized I, I didn't construct a closing line for these episodes yet. <laughs> that I'm going to have to do. Uh, Let's so chop. There's a, <laughs> yeah. Thank you for, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you everyone for listening. And until uh, next time. Yeah.